Hi, I'm Steve with Steve's Pest Control. You know, this time of year, bugs are really active, from spiders to bees to about everything. Termites are also very active. Termites come from a colony that's deep underground, usually 10 or 12 feet, and this colony is a huge colony. There could be more than a million members in there. There's a queen that lays an egg every 15 seconds, and she lives 25 to 30 years. She develops one of three main members, a worker, a soldier, or reproductive. The majority of the members are workers, and a worker is the food gatherer, and it will, it will scour the environment literally 24 hours a day looking for food, and food for them is wood. When they find food, they eat it and swallow it, and then return it back to their colony and feed it to the others. Now workers are actually blind. They're down in the colony deep underground, and as they leave, they consume, swallow, and defecate the soil to move through the ground. They're actually eating the soil, looking for food, and they leave a pheromone scent behind as they do that. When they find wood, they eat it and swallow it, and within a few days, return to the colony and regurgitate what they've eaten to the others. They lock the food source into the colony by a scented trail. They say that there's two types of homes in Missouri, uh, ones that have termites and ones that will have termites. And they also say that homes in Missouri are literally built on an ocean of termites. It's going to happen eventually. Termites can cause over $5 billion in damage every year, and it's rarely covered under homeowner's insurance. Now, also this time of year, uh, there can be winged ants that also swarm. So we have winged termites and we have winged ants. And we often get calls about the confusion of how do you identify the difference between a winged termite and a winged ant. Uh, they're both reproductives. Uh, they both come from a colony. Uh, there's only one ant that really causes any kind of damage. That's a carpenter ant. But they don't consume wood. They just excavate it and nest in it. Termites are far more destructive. Here's a few tips to identify the difference between a termite and an ant. An ant has a sectional body. It has a head, a middle section, which is a thorax, and an abdomen. So an hourglass, pinched waist type of shape. Whereas a termite doesn't have a sectional body at all. It's just a straight body. That's the first one. The second one is the wings of, a, of an ant are just barely longer than the body. The wings of a termite, however, are about twice the size of the body. Both of them have two pairs of wings, but termites' wings are identically the same size, whereas you can tell there's two different size wings on an ant. If you look really close, the antenna of an ant are elbowed, whereas termites have a straight antenna. So if you, if you think you have a termite problem and you're just not sure, it's best to get professional help on this. This is something you don't want to try to do yourself. These things can cause some serious damage. Well, thank you for your time today. If I can help you in any way, you can always call me at Steve's Pest Control or see us online at stevespestcontrol.com. Now you've got a friend in the pest control business, Steve's Pest Control.